welcome to all in this video we will discuss module number one differential calculus application of differential calculus this is a tutorial class two so we will discuss what is the application of differential calculus okay. so the calculus was developed independently by isaac newton so after that calculus the differential calculus first the calculus was developed independently by the isaac newton so after that laminates they will implement they used calculus for everywhere he only used the calculus for everywhere in mathematics and differential calculus is used where we use the differential calculus in the mathematical to find the rate of change of quantity with respect to other and this one is in case of finding a function increasing or decreasing functions in the graph so by using the differential calculus we are to easily finding the function is increasing or decreasing functions in the graph and one more application and usage is to find the maximum and minimum value of the curve so we can use we can by using the differential calculus we will easily identify we will easily evaluate or we will easily to find a maximum and the minimum value of the curve okay. and next one to find approximate value of a small change in a quantity this is also application of use of differential calculus okay. and this is for the mathematical so previous one is the mathematical way and where we used in the real life application for the differential calculus where we used in the real life so real life application of the differential calculus is the calculation of profit and loss with respect to business using graphs the calculation of profit and loss with respect to business using the graphs so if you if you start any business for if you take the 10 years say graph what is your profit what is your loss mean you, you see that that graph now that nift okay the now the current it is that all economics they convert uh, they used by the differential calculus only easily they identify the, what is the profit what is the loss for the business okay and next one the calculation of the rate of change of the temperature so easily we can calculate the rate of change of the temperature like in newton's cooling law we study the newton's cooling law that is also by using the differential calculus only we easily identify the rate of change of the temperature and the calculation of speed or distance cover such a miles per hour or kilometer per hour etc so easily we have to calculate nowadays for all we are all used for the um, bike and cars see that the speed meter is there how to they calculate for 100 kilometer 2000 kilometer that 100 kilometer per hour or 60 kilometer per hour so our speed is 70 kilometer per hour that uh, tire circular circulation okay how they will calculate it means by using the differential calculus so easily we can in the mechanical mechanically in the real life application is we have to calculate speed or distance covered such a miles per hour and kilometer as per hour so etc these are all application of real life application and to derive many physics equation so this is the indirect application of the physics line so by using differential calculus we have to derive many physics equation okay and next one so uh, already i told now so the distance speed everything is we covered not only here the space also we can to calculate the position of the stars so the distance so from earth to how to calculate the dis how to uh, what is the distance from the each and every star position okay each and every star position how to the calculate means by using the differential calculus and also the astronomy and this one so nowadays we are all watching the cricket for to calculate the pitch of the ball so if uh, okay to calculate the pitch of the ball so nowadays we can calculate some some bowlers they throw the ball but it will take the swing in swing out swing so actually the ball is uh, going to this space 
this is the uh, real ball but in the some swing that some angle it's a turn like this so easily we can calculate the this radi uh, angles everything by using the differential calculus only okay and that calculus in engineering field where we use the engineering field so many examples of the use of calculus are found in mechanical engineering okay. so most of store many application many usage in the calculus in the mechanical engineering and and also com computing the surface area of the complex object to determine the frictional forces and the next one designing a pump according to flow rate and head this is the one of the engineering field application and calculating the power provided by the battery system this is csc students will used sorry triple e students they used and next one calculate time to reach highest point to calculate time to reach highest point that is also one of the application and next one calculate initial velocity from total time of flight so we can easily calculate by using the differential equation the velocity from the total time of flight this is also one of the application okay so that's all so i hope you are all understand the concept of concept for the application of differential equation so thanks watching for this video thank you to all